Hey YouTube, Red here. Sorry it took so long for me to get this video out, but we did finally get something put together of me and my family camping in the Moose Jaw Comfortress eight person tent. I hope you guys enjoy it. Say hi, Rowan. Hi. Out here with the family camping. I got my tent set up right here. It is the Moose Jaw. I don't remember what it's called. Say hi, Atlas. Hi, Atlas. <laughs> Sure, say hi. Hi. It's a pretty large tent. This is the first time we've had it out camping. Um, it works very well. I will say for our family of five, it can get a little snug on the inside just because of what we have fitting in here. I have two queen size air mattresses and then a twin right over here. Um, these two are sitting side by side, the twin and the queen, and then that queen's horizontal on that half. And there's a little room at the foot of that one to get some stuff into. I'll just say the one complaint, it's not really a complaint, but something um, that we've thought about is you definitely want both sides of the tent open because on warm nights it's a little stifling. You want a good cross breeze rolling through in here. This does open up right here, but we decided not to do that and we have it opened up on the end here. And we got stuff. Yep, and we got lots of stuff in the vestibule. We laid down a tarp, so this is a whole vestibule thing as you've seen in my previous video. Got my bag, our cooler. We could You could fit bikes in here, you could fit tons of stuff. We got room down here at the end of the foot of the bed to put a couple things and there's some along the inside there too. It's very spacious for fitting two queens and a twin and you could honestly probably fit another twin if you turn this queen sideways but then you wouldn't have really any room to walk around so but if if you were if you weren't gonna have air mattresses like this you could fit quite a few people in here. I mean we're obviously doing it with me the wife and the three kids but it's pretty good. So far, we're very happy with it. Haven't slept in any rain yet, but hopefully one night this camping trip, hopefully one night this camping trip will get a good rainy night so I can add that to the video. But for now, it's, it's good. Another kid's tent. Yeah. We are up here in St. Ignace camping. It's a beautiful place to camp. Now can I, touch it? I would recommend it to anybody. The weather's been beautiful. We're excited to do more exploring. We're gonna head further north. Yeah, it's been great. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching you guys. We had a blast up north. The tent worked great. We ended up moving to three different campsites. We started in St. Ignace, made our way up to Munising by Pitcher Rocks, and then went over to Tuquamanon Falls, as you could see in the last little clip. I really got my setup time cut pretty down to like roughly 15 minutes. I got it pretty quick. I mean, once you start figuring your tie outs out, Getting it up and down doesn't take long at all. There was a lot, as you can see, there was a bunch of room at the end. Like we had totes in there. We had food totes in the vestibule, still tons of room. We did get a little rain one morning. We all stayed dry. It was fantastic. Like I said, my only complaint would be, it would be fun to sleep without the rain fly on because it can get a little warm in there. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at purchasing. And I think that's it. Hey, thanks again for watching, you guys. Thanks for being so patient with me for getting this video up. I know I just took my sweet time with that, but yeah, have a good one.